The number of water shutoffs in the city of Detroit is down drastically compared to years past. The Detroit Water and Sewage Department is showing a more than 60% decrease this spring. Coco McAvoy has a story about why this is happening and how people are reacting to it. The water shutoffs have been controversial because of the many barriers that homeowners face when they're trying to pay their bills. But now the director of the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department says they're seeing a dramatic decrease in the number of residents facing shutoffs. A quiet room with no lines at the water board building. A much different atmosphere than years past. We had the United Nations right here in front of the building rightfully so protesting about the number of Detroiters that were shut off. But now director Gary Brown says less residents are facing the dreaded shutoffs. There are 5600 people at risk this year compared to 17,000 last year, and they're also seeing higher collection rates. We're collecting now 93% of what we build, which is bringing more money into the city, $65 million to be exact. We don't have to pass that bad debt on to our customers. But the Michigan Welfare Rights Organization is pushing back on the celebration. Any entity that lords over uh, turning water off where there are seniors, low income children, disabled, veterans, they can't, they, they cannot uh, take themselves to be a serious and cannot take yourself to be good. Maureen Taylor has her concerns about the people still at risk. 5,000 people left without water. Uh, okay, not good, not good at all. We can do better. The department's goal is to do better with a big goal ahead. Absolutely, next year, no shutoffs. That's what the department is aiming for. But for now, they're focused on continuing to decrease the numbers. And the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department believes its assistance programs are really helping people pay their bills. We've got a full breakdown of the numbers on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Thank you, Coco.